record straight. You and me, we ain't nothing alike. Let's set the record straight. Those words you say, they hold no weight, they like. Let's set the record straight. You'll never break the man. Hello everyone and welcome back to another die cast review. Today we have a pretty awesome die cast. This is the Kurt Busch number 45 2022 Jordan Brand Kansas race win. And this one is one of the most anticipated die cast race wins or just the race wins in general. Because obviously this is Kurt Busch and we don't get Kurt Busch wins very often. Actually I cannot remember we got, I, okay I do not remember the last time we got a Kurt Busch race win. If at all, I'm sure we did sometime, but I cannot remember when. Because normally, this guy wins in, like, monster cars, right? And they don't produce monster cars. So, for it to not be monster energy, and for him to win in it is very rare, <laughs> and uh, very awesome at the same time. Because obviously, we get the die cast, and it's really awesome because at the same time, sadly, this is Kurt's final race win. Now, I say sadly in a couple different reasons. Because obviously, Kurt's a legend, absolute legend. He's like one of the big goats in NASCAR, and it's just, it's unfortunate how he went out. I mean, I feel like he had at least a couple more years underneath his belt for racing, but I don't know. That concussion really kind of got to him, and I don't blame him. I really don't. But I really hope NASCAR kind of steps up the safety precautions for next season. I know they're working on like the back bumper with some more like padding or more like a leeway type bumper like if it hits something it kind of gives in a little more and that's awesome really glad to hear that that means you know they're kind of working on the gen 7 die cast or not die cast but the, the car in order to kind of get it a little more i don't know a little more safe in a way because it's weird because it's actually like this car is built to take really hard hits it's kind of ironic because they built the these cars to be a lot more like dense so when you hit the wall really hard right you're fine, basically. But if you tap the wall in the slightest in a light way, you can get hurt. And I don't understand how that works. I think somebody, like one of the officials or one of the like the announcers or, you know, whatever, uh, or whoever, kind of explained how that happens. But the car is not built for light hits. It's built for really hard hits. So if you hit uh, the wall really hard or somebody else really hard, you're going to be okay. You know, you're not going to have any injuries, as, you know, as far as we've seen. But if you lightly tap something, it can really hurt. Like, it took out my boy Bowman, took out Kurt Busch. I think there was, was there somebody else that was, like, having concussion-like uh, symptoms? I think, I don't remember who it was, but it was at Martinsville. I want to say it was Briscoe. I could be wrong. Maybe it wasn't Briscoe, but somebody got out of their car at Martinsville because they were having, like, like a headache or... They, and then they got like like tapped earlier in the race and it kind of affected them. So these cars are safe, but they're not at the same time. So I'm glad to hear that NASCAR is working on the race cars and I do not want to see another career ended just like Kurt Busch's. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this die cast out of the box and take a closer look. Here's the die cast out of the box. And honestly, this thing like, okay, so the paint scheme itself, I mean, I'm not really a fan but like i kind of am at the same time if that makes any sense because it's like so, like solely because of the print of the shoe i believe i think it's like a shoe or like something like that i don't know because it's, it's jordan's right it's almost like his brother kyle's because like if you think of the m m scheme there's no sponsorship it's just a bunch of m ms so with this one there's no sponsorship other than on the on the hood and a little bit on the side there's no like above the wheel well there's nothing behind the 45 nothing on the deck lid even it's just michael jordan so this die cast or this paint scheme in general is just simply lacking sponsorship but it was done in such a good way that i don't really think it matters if that makes any sense especially like again like kind of how kyle's is there's no sponsor in term of text but the branding is still there but Kurt's car captures it really well, and it's such a unique type of, like, sponsorship. I don't know, it's really cool. Because it makes the car look really bland, but not bland in, like, the best way possible. I'm not really too sure how to explain it, but, I mean, that's really the best I got. But, I mean, I don't know. Either way, let's go and take a look at the hood here. Of course, you got oh, Michael Jordan, or the Jordan logo there. Got some tape on the hood pins. Looks like you got a little bit more hood pins uh, behind these little vents here. 
Uh, Michael Jordan there. Got a lot of rubber built up there. Looks really nice. Kurt Busch with Toyota over there on the uh, front windshield. Got the 45, two Jordan logos behind that. Got Kurt Busch on the rear name banner here. Have nothing on the deck lid. I want to say that's because Monster was supposed to be on the deck lid. I could be completely wrong. But if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure Monster is supposed to be on the deck lid and on the quarter panel over here. So, uh, yeah, not really too sure if, if I'm accurate on that, but that's my that's my guess. Right here on the back, got the Jordan logo there once again. Got some pop rivets on the back end. Looks like got a little line going across the spoiler. Don't really know what that's about. Got the Jordan logo once again, 45. Toyota got some race wear on the back end of the die cast. That doesn't really happen very often. So it's cool to see. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's like on the Toyota logo. It's on that little red square. And then it's on like the Toyota text on the 45 a little bit. So it does have some race wear on the back end, which is pretty interesting. Over here on this side, you got 7-Eleven. Michael Jordan there, the Jordan brand. I got the little tail light there. We've got this weird little like, I don't know, kind of like a camo type design. I don't really know what you would call this. It almost reminds me of like rock or like some sort of like stone. I uh, got Kurt Busch right there in a black box. I don't like how they did that, but at the same time I get it because of the design. I understand that. I uh, see so got Toyota. I don't know if that's on. Oh, Money Lion. Mobile One, Mac Tools, and 2311 Racing there. Got the McDonald's logo there. Oh, we got some race wear. Wow, you can actually, that's interesting. You can tell. So in this light, you can't really tell, but when you turn it, you can see all the dust and buildup. That's pretty cool. TRD on the bottom, it's a little bit wrinkled, but that's not a big deal. Got 45 there, got NASCAR Salutes, uh, NASCAR Cup Series, got the Goodyear right there, got the Goodyear tires, of course. Moving on to the front end, this is really the dirtiest part of the car. You can tell, just look, all over the front end, the, the Camry logo, the Toyota logo, just you can tell the gradient and like just the, the really gray kind of like finish on the front end makes it look, you know, so raced up and it looks really good. So a huge props to Lionel for getting that effect on the front end. That looks really, really nice. Again, that's kind of what I was talking about on the right side also. So, yeah, really cool. Glad to uh, see that they did that correctly. Front end is just covered in dirt. The 45 there also covered. The 2311 Racing logo over here. With the 45, a little bit more dirt and wear. Not a whole lot, but yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it for this car also. I do want to mention that this specific die cast is also a metal chassis because uh, if you don't know, there was a cell going on for like uh, Circle B die cast and there was K-State die cast and Lionel. Maybe not Lionel, I'm not too sure, but I know for a Circle B die cast and for K-State die cast, they were having their uh, like the die cast that were metal chassis. So like the quote elite edition of the 164s. They were having them for $8.50 each instead of $14.99. So that was an absolute steal. Could not get any better than that. And some of the, or most of the plastic chassis, so most of the normal ones were still $10. Now, to be fair, some of them were like 5 bucks, which is really cool. But I mean, at the same time, I could not pass up any type of metal chassis car for $8.50. Could not pass it up. If I wanted it, even in the slightest, I got it. So that was a pretty cool little way to get these die casts. I got a buttload too. I'm still missing a Jeffrey Earnhardt die cast. Uh, we've been talking about that for the past couple uh, die cast hauls. But either way, I'm finally glad to have this die cast in my collection. I've been wanting this die cast for a very, very long time. Ever since uh, he won that race, he crossed that finish line. And I was like, dude, they're going to make a 124 and a 164. I want this 164 so bad. And this is Kurt's final win. I can easily see it getting really rare down the road of both 124 and 164. So if you had not had the chance to go pick it up, I would much um, advise, highly advise for you to go do that now while you have the chance. Because this car could be available next week and then not available the next, so you really have no clue. Or it could be available for, I don't know, three, four years and all of a sudden, boom, dries up like out of nowhere. I'm not really a Kurt fan. I have nothing against Kurt Busch, but I mean, I collect or I try to collect every single race win produced, uh, you know, from Lionel for the past couple years. So, I'm, you know, this was definitely one they're going to keep in the collection. It's a very nice one to have in collection. It's a Jordan brand car. Kurt Busch's final win at the 2311 racing win. I believe this was their second win for the team. Of course, Bubba Wallace got his first win uh, back in 2021 at Talladega for 2311. Or just his first one in general, really. But nonetheless, I'm pretty sure this is like the second win for 2311. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure uh, 
But we got the first one, Odega, and then, of course, this one, a second. And nonetheless, it's a pretty decent-looking car. So with that being said, I do believe that'll be all for this die cash review. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.